Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, and good night, Twitch chat, and welcome back to Let Us Play. I'm your host, Father Evan. Welcome back to Spirituality Thursday. Uh, we were originally going to play um, Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe, but uh, it made quite a few people nauseous last week, so we're, we're not going to even do that again. Uh, instead, we're going to be playing VVV VVV, a uh, fun little platformer. Uh, it actually has kind of a nice message of um, sort of resiliency. Uh, but before we get started, two things. One, first, flashing lights warning. It's, um, it, it, it can get some, it's pretty bright. So, you know, if that's a, if you need to worry about that, it's okay. You can turn on audio only, walk away, you know, do what you need to. Uh, and second, want to thank Gemma Jude for following the channel. Thank you, Gemma Jude. I can't, there we go. The notification was not deactivating because we love technology. Uh, I just looked at my preview for the game window, and uh, hey, Gemma Jude, welcome to the channel. Anyway, I I I did this. I found I found this. Give me a moment. <laughs> Generally speaking, it's a good idea to have your the thing you're trying to capture actually plugged into your capture card. So, you know, there's that. So welcome to VVVVVV. Yes, you can start in your game, I am sure. Uh-oh! Is everything okay? No, we've hit some kind of interference! Something's wrong, we're going to crash! Evacuate! Oh no! Oh, everyone off the ship! Oh, this should be happening! Whew, that was scary. At least we all escaped, right guys? Why do I sound so quiet? Guys. Oh. Welcome aboard. So this is VVVVVVV. It's a 2D platformer, but you don't jump. You flip gravity. I wonder where the ship teleported me here alone. I got. I hope everyone else has got out okay. So our goal is to turn down the volume first. Uh, but anyway, our goal is to, re is to find our six crewmates, who all have names starting with V. Hence the title. The soundtrack is all P's or all R's. Uh, and this game's typically just referred to as V. It's saying V, 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 V. But I think the captain here has kind of a nice spirit of uh, resiliency in this Gilligan's Isle setting. Help, can anyone hear this message? Violet, is that you? Captain, you're okay. Something has gone horribly wrong with the ship's teleporter. I think everyone has been teleported randomly. They could be anywhere. Oh, no. I'm on the ship. It's damaged badly, but it's still intact. Where are you, Captain? I'm on some sort of space station. It seems pretty modern. There seems to be some sort of interference in this dimension. I'm broadcasting the coordinates of the ship to you now. I can't teleport back, but if you can find a teleporter anywhere nearby, you should be able to teleport back to me. Okay, I'll try to find one. Good luck, Captain. I'll keep trying to find the rest of the crew. I will not be 100%ing this game. For anyone who's played it, you know what that means. Uh, there's 20 trinkets, as they call them, that you have to find. Oh man, I'm just... Uh, and one of them is impossible. I've literally never gotten it in my life.
there's a trinket. But I love the uh, commitment to uh, the like Commodore 64-esque uh, um, aesthetics. No! No! It's a good thing this dimension respawns us. Dingo's fed at kidneys. How's everyone doing today? Everyone having a good fourth day of Christmas? A teleporter! I can get back to the ship with this! It says press enter. I'm... I don't know where enter is on this. Captain! Level complete! You have rescued a crew member. Four remain. So, Doctor, have you any idea what caused the crash? There's some sort of bizarre signal here that's interfering with our equipment. It caused the ship to lose its quantum position, collapsing us into this dimension. Oh, no. But I think we should be able to fix the ship and get out of here. As long as we can find the rest of the crew. Your parents' dog got into your garbage rather than that seems not too bad. Well, that's good, but sounds smelly. We really don't know anything about this place. Our friends could be anywhere. They could be lost or in danger. They, can they teleport back here? Not unless we find some way to communicate with us. We can't pick up their signal, and they can't teleport here unless they know where the ship is. You got a uh, Gemma Galgani relic for Christmas. That's awesome. We need to find them. Head out into the dimension and look for any anywhere they might have ended up. Okay, where do we start? Well, I've been trying to find them with the ship's scanner, but it's not working. But I did find something. That's a lot of question marks. These points ended up on our scans as having high energy patterns. There's a good chance they're a teleporter, which means they're probably built uh, with something important. They could have a very good place to start looking. They could have, they could be, oy, I can't read today. Okay, I'll head out and see what I can find. I'll be here right, I'll be right here if you need any help. So, it looks like we head down and to the right. So, down one screen and over maybe three. Ah. The problem is that we can't go through the floor. Oh, we loop. It has been years since I played this game. Oh. So the game also has dun essentially a bunch of dungeons. Kind of like Zelda that you need to find. This being one of them. It's not the hardest, though. That's easily the Gravitron.
I forgot how slippery these little guys are. Oh, this is going to be tight. Nope. I need to go faster than that. Each dungeon has its own unique mechanic, so like obviously the tower here is rising, but some of them uh, have like diff different physics rules. More flipping. And amazing music. Oh, it's so close. I went too early. I just slept there. I chose this game for Spirituality Thursday because, I, again, I think the captain has a good sense of resiliency and heroic, self, heroic saving. It's also a good lesson in patience. Captain, am I ever glad that to see you? I thought I was the only one to, to escape the ship. Vermilion! I knew you'd be okay. So what's the situation? No, it's not great. I see. Well, we better get back then. There's a teleporter in the next room. Rescued a crew member. Three remain. It's great to be back. I can't wait to help you find the rest of the crew. It'll be like old times, huh, Captain? Yeah. Let's go this way. Go this way around our ship. Finding plenty of these uh, teleporters, but
So New Year's is just around the corner. I can't believe it. Guess that's a one-way exit. Um, anyone got any fun plans? I'll be at the Seek conference myself. So I won't really have a chance to do anything big. Although I'll probably have dinner with my Ballas brothers. Truth. Is that what it means when someone talks about being hit over the head by, by truth? I did not choose poorly. This is the chalice of a carpenter. Wait. Maybe I did screw up. I'm going to try the other way. Maybe not. I'm trying to stay just on the edge here. So I can... I don't think I can do that. I was trying to slide up and off. And feathering movement in this is a lot harder than I remember. and why does it have a knot? So truth hurt us, but now lies hurt us too. What is this? but we didn't find someone. Hey! Wait, that's Vermilion. Where are we? Is 
Is that all just part of the starting area? Oh, hey, there's more of the lies. There we go. Ah! Get away from the lies! The warning. Lots of checkpoints. There's nothing ominous about that. out of there. Okay, so this this is why I never 100% did this. Do you see that trinket? Am I being killed by capitalism, father? Yes, always. Anyway, that trinket is blocked. So you have to go through Vanny Vidi Vici. Anyway, you can see it this way. Veni, Vidi, Vici, easy mode unlocked. And then all the way back down, too. So yeah, that's, uh, I've, I've made it halfway. I've made it to the top of Benny Vidi Vici and all that, but uh, I've never had the patience or ability to go all the way back down the other. Missed the start. What the devil are you playing? I'm playing V, 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 or V for short. an indie uh, platformer from like 2008. Ah. Why did I do that again? You always prefer N+. Plus. That's that's fair. I never really got into N+. Plus. I tried it and I was like, okay. I don't know, maybe it's the aesthetic. I appreciate the level of dedication. So to get this trinket, you have to do that to free that platform. Go all the way back where you just were without dying. Because if you die, everything resets. Hey, it's crewmate. Ah, Viridian. You got off the ship all right, too? It's good to see you. You're all right, Professor. This really is just Gilligan's Isle. There's the Professor. Tag yourself. I'm Skipper. There's 
the ship okay? It's badly damaged, but Violet's been working on it to fix it. We could really use her help. Ah, uh -huh. of course. The background interference in this dimension prevented the ship from finding a teleporter when it crashed. We've all been teleported to different locations. That sounds about right. Let's get back to the ship, then. After you, Captain. Why is this for Spirituality Thursday? Because I could not do my original plan, which was going to be um, Stanley Parable Ultra Deluxe because Stanley Parable made too many people sick. Two, I didn't want to start the next thing we're doing for Spirituality Thursday yet because I'm going away next week. I didn't want there to be a break in between the first two episodes because I want to have some momentum with it. Um, and I'm looking forward to that. What's up next? And also, I think this game actually does have some nice little interactions and messages of uh, resiliency, so... Ooh, this is interesting. Captain, have you been here before? What? Where are we? I suspect something deflected our teleporter transmission. This is somewhere new. Oh, no. I'm just trying to find a teleporter and get back to the ship. When you're with... When you're standing on the floor... Why didn't it say Vitarelli? I thought his name was Viridium. Or did I find someone, another, another crewmate. Follow me. Right behind you, Captain. So yeah, you... Welcome to the escort quest of the game. What do you make of all this, Professor? I'm guessing the dimension is something to do with an interference that caused the crash. Maybe we'll find the cause of it here? Oh, really? Well, it's just a guess. I'll need to get back to the ship before I can do any real tests. I have considered Thomas just alone. That is on the, the shortlist, Gale. I actually have a special guest in mind that I'd love to get on uh, when we do Thomas just alone. Nope, don't, don't go moving, Professor. In fact, I actually considered doing Thomas was alone for this, but I decided, you know what? Eh, it might run too long, and can't do it in one day. Oh, what was that? What was what? That big C thing. I wonder what it does. I don't really know how to answer that question. It's probably best not to acknowledge that it's there at all. Ha <laughs> ha! Mid two thousands meta humor. Maybe we should take it back to the ship to study it. We really shouldn't think about it too much. Let's keep moving. In fact, Thomas was alone was on one of the uh, case study games. Dang it. One of my case study games uh, for this whole project. Ah! Good job, Professor. Slightly too fast. I, re I really honked up there. Well, at least you're not, you know, in a face full of spikes, but, uh, so profoundly unhelpful there, Professor. Gail has redeemed a father joke! You know, I once thought about getting a job at a glass factory because, you know, they take transparency very seriously.
Sharp joke. <laughs> Thank you. You know, there's something really odd about this dimension. Yeah? You shouldn't really be able to move between dimensions with a regular teleporter. Maybe this isn't a proper dimension at all. Maybe it's some kind of polar dimension, something artificially created for some reason. I can't wait to have back get back to the ship. I have a lot of tests to run. Glad you're excited, Professor. Stop falling off the edge, that's what I should do. Oh. Let's see. Okay, I think I see the solution. Need to get there, Professor. and I press the button because I think I need to get onto the bottom or the top of this platform and then the bottom of that one bottom of that one flip land on the far side but I don't know what that does for the professor oh no professor Why did you move, Professor? I wasn't on the... Thir 29 seconds, 80, 80, 890 milliseconds glitch warping to the credits. Yeah. Yeah, this game's a little glitchy. Wait. I got him onto the platform, though. How did I do that? I think it's gonna work. 18 minutes, 29 seconds is much less. That sounds more accurate. I blame summoning salt too. You, you, you really shouldn't summon salt. You should buy it at the store. Find kosher salt. I must summon it. That sounds like you problem, Gale. Okay, so now we have the professor, or we have uh, the captain across. So now we need to not do that. But we figured it out. We got. us problem. Where's all the kosher salt? Um, I'm gonna just go lock up what kosher salt I do have. Ah, dang it. Professor, stop going so fast.
And now all we have to do is get across and then get ourselves back over there. Easy, right? At least we can stand on top of it on this side and not get hit by spikes. What was I thinking? I wasn't paying attention to my brain decided. To... <laughs> That's a great time to go. If you ever have a solution to a puzzle like a Rubik's Cube or something, then you do something and you screw it up and then you go back and you're like, I don't know how I got there and I can't go back. Getting tilted means I lose. No! The game can't win. I am more than the game. Plus, I'm only getting tilted at myself on that one. That just looks wrong. Fair enough. Okay, we've done this before. We can do it again. Uh, I was too. I was actually too fast there and moved the professor a little too much, or, or not enough, I should say. Like, ah, I'll give it a pause and let the professor catch up. Nope, don't do that. He'll overshoot. I do hope we finish this in one sitting, because then we get to see the death count at the very end. No, no, the game will handle that for us, and then we can do soft G gambling. We can do a prediction. Okay. Professor's in the clear. Now it's our turn. Go at the correct time on this one. Oh! I wonder if there's anything else in this dimension worth exploring. Maybe, but we should probably just focus on finding the rest of the crew for now. Okay, so we can't just run across. shot the edge there. Yeah, Captain V here has a little more momentum than I expected and remembered. Let's just take it nice and slow. Ooh, okay. God darn it. Not 
loud enough. So I really need to get him towards the right. Not like that. Oh, come on. Okay. Woo. I like this puzzle. I like that little puzzle room. Class dismissal at last. Let's go back to the ship. Yes. Let's never speak of this again. So we have Vitarelli, Vermilion, Violet, uh, Victoria, Captain V, who's I don't know what his V stands for. Okay, we've already been there. So probably bottom left and top left are good places to try and explore. Uh, there are six Vs, because there are the six crewmates. They all have a name starting with V, and then the soundtrack's all... It's all R or all P? I forget which. Oh yeah, we found a dungeon. Get ready to bounce. So... The wires... I think this is my favorite dungeon, actually. They auto-bounce you when you hit them. Or they auto-flip your gravity. Sort of giving you a double jump. Actually, what's this random terminal saying? It turns out the key stabilization of this dimension was to create a balancing force outside of it. It looks like just a temporary solution, it's at best. I've been working on something more permanent, but it seems going to be too late. Syntax error. Yeah, I love question mark syntax error. Although their last album wasn't that great. Ah, I keep going too fast there. Wait. Ah, waited too much. Half a wait. No. Oh, come on. <laughs> I barely poked that spike. V would have a... but a minor boo-boo because of that one.
free. I also like, I don't know if you've noticed, there's like the title of the room at the bottom. Drive you to Bedlam. Well, especially when you start collecting all the 20 trinkets. But uh, the, the rooms are names at the bottom, so free your mind. I've changed my mind, Thalma. In a single pound, in direct jump vector. But I like that some of them, like, free your mind. I've changed my mind, Thalma. Tells, you know, just little stories. Parani, parani. Safety dance. Well, if your friends don't dance, they're no friends of mine. I suppose we'll get one trinket. It's an easy one to get. Congratulations, you have found a shiny trinket. That's literally all they are, shiny trinkets. I don't think it even changes the ending. Other than score. And gamer points. Found Vermillion for real this time. I'm helping! Oh, wait, I thought we already found you. Okay, you're helping. You sure are, Vermillion. You keep that up, you. I didn't mean to go that far. I have a slightly different resonance frequency than these things. It's his age bounce. This is a true statement, but I'm not sure how it applies here. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. You're not sorry. Okay, let's see. Nope. How far down do we want to... Go. Strange to think that the score used to be only a metric for success in a game. I know, right? Wild. So glad I didn't live in those caveman times of gaming. Ah! I smell ozone. Oh no, Captain, are you stuck here too? It's okay, I'm here to rescue you. Let me explain everything. What? I didn't understand any of that. Oh well, don't worry. Follow me, everything will be alright. Really? Okay then. The Philadelphia Experiment. I'm sure that's a reference to something. You have rescued a crewmate. One rem remains. <sighs> Uh-oh. Not again. Victoria, where are you? Help! Hang on, I'll save you. Wait. Wii Sports. The Gravitron. Okay, this is one of the hardest things in the game. Get ready for some epic gamer moments.
Nope. So it resets you to the last five seconds. I promise I'm an epic gamer. Please don't tell the gaming police to, to uh, revoke my gamer card. 1984, sci-fi film about accidental time travel to 2024. Well, this game was released in like 2008, so. Dang, you're gaming like me. Ouch. Thanks, Matt Roxy. <laughs> <laughs> Bad Roxy, you're not allowed to uh, play V V V V V V V V V V V until I'm there to witness it. there we're getting there this is the longest 30 seconds of my life okay five more seconds yay I think I'm going to be sick. I feel dizzy. So Violet hangs out up here watching over the trinkets. There it is. It's a trinket. That's all it does. Okay, we have one more crewmate to find. So, time to start exploring, I guess. forever upward into the void. Well, no, because actually it loops around. This dimension is actually pretty small. Where is this leading us to? I guess it's a closed loop. Over to this way. Probably a trinket. We found 10% of them. I did so well coming into this cave. So 
kind of up and to the right from here, it looks like. Because we're currently going around the previous dungeon we were just in. I think it's actually that bottom gray space on the right, to the right of the red tube. So how do we get there? Probably if we go below the ship and to the left so we loop around and then go below all the yellow? Or is it up above the yellow? Hmm. Go left. Okay. I hope you're not just reading on a guide or something. Hey, Vermilion, are you helping again? Hiya, Captain, this way looks a little dangerous. No, really, with all the spikes. We just teleported. You're not reading a guide. That is fair. See, I just I was just hoping, that's all. Inside that, so inside the blue in the lower left, there's like this series of squares. There's a way to get into the heart of it all, and there's just like a giant elephant that takes up four screens. Oh, okay, so it's just that these two screens are identical, even though they're technically not. Nothing confusing about that. Ah! We have found it. We found the dungeon. This is how it is. So this one's toroidal. Okay, remember those numbers. Those numbers are important. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. I actually almost recovered that. maze with no entrance. Well, then how can it have an exit? Like that. As we go up, we go down. I walked off that platform expecting V to flip. And now they have a They Live reference? Yeah. Why not? Indie game from the mid-aughts.
This is the uh, scariest screen in the game. It says boop. to death. Surprised it took that long. Um, anyway, today is the Feast of the Holy Innocents, the uh, martyrs of Herod's uh, paranoia, essentially. And a lot of the prayers of the day, and like Liturgy of the Hours, and, and the Missal, and Scripture itself, kind of makes it sound like somehow God wanted their deaths, and it's like, no, that's not how God works, first of all, but also it, it's ultimately it's a sign that in the midst of pain and sorrow and suffering of the world, the birth of Christ trans and ultimately his, his crucifixion transforms the suffering of the world uh, to offer uh, a hope beyond all hope. There's also just a lot of martyrs right after Christmas, because day after is St. Stephen's Day, fourth day is Holy Innocence, and then the 29th is Thomas Beckett. I... I pressed down trying to duck, because that's what my brain did, is it saw the, the hearts coming and said, ah! My character will just duck out of the way. Five head. There's a lot going on in this screen. I thought I'd flip there, but well... the other way. Wow, it's so much easier. It's not easy being green. Captain, you're... So I was so worried. Chief... Chief Verticris, you're okay. I've been trying to get out, but I keep going around in circles. I've come from the ship. I'm here to teleport us back. Is everyone all right? Is Violet... She's fine. She's back on the ship. Oh, great. Let's go get... Let's get going, then. Green dudes can't flip. Level complete! You have rescued a crew member. All crew members rescued. Welcome back! Um, where's Captain Viridian? Ah, there's his V name, Viridian. Like the forest. Hello? Is anyone there? So, welcome to the final dungeon which combines all of the effects of all the other ones. So the looping, the bouncing. We're in for a good time. Yes, 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 yes.
Ah, I was not paying attention there. Keep hesitating just enough. Okay, I think I need to stop overthinking it, so that that's a simple solution, right? Okay. We made it past that screen. Now if I could just make it past this one. Are we not allowed to bombard you like this one with the joke requests anymore? I did, in fact, put on a 10-minute time limit on uh, the father jokes. So that I can't be bombarded in situations like this. This one's just very brain flipping. So I find a solution going around the other way. Ah yes, and now we now we got a series of um, old TV references. We have the the V Stooges. Now we have Gun Gavun Smoke. We get Bewitched. The witch. I thought maybe dooting along with the noises might help me with the rhythm. It didn't, but that did. So now we're on the outside to view etched in gun smoke. Wait. I could have just gone around on the outside the entire time. Oh my goodness. Game that is so rude. Hey, what if we made this an incredibly difficult area, but made it entirely optional? Oh, those hurt you. Okay. No, I just choose to believe that the game was being rude. It's easier that way. 
here. Yeah, this one's giving me a lot. It has a lot of opportunity, but because of where I'm falling when I fall, it looks weird, and my brain's not fully red. I wish you could just dive straight in, but alas. Ah! I almost made it there. Ah, barely smacked my head there. That one was entirely on me. Okay, but I think I found the rhythm to get through there. V repair. Quick to the television screen. Dimensional spillity generator. Currently generating maximum spillity status. Online. Ready. Aha, this must be what's causing the interference. I wonder if I can turn it off. Warning, disabling the dimensional spillity generator may lead to instability. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Seriously, the whole dimension could collapse. But just think about it for a minute. Are you really sure you want to do this? Yes. Dimensional stabilizer offline. Uh-oh! It's destabilizing. Who could have seen this happening? Given how rhythmic many of these levels are non-synced, feels like a hindrance a little bit. I prefer to think it is a fun challenge. Plus, it never built itself as a rhythm game. What am I supposed to do here? Am I overthinking this? Probably. Not die. Ah! Oh, that's what I've been doing wrong! Hey, Step Zero, you want to run a prediction of uh, how many deaths there have been? Because we're getting very close to the end. Gambling? Jam no, it's not gambling. It's jambling. It's it's a soft G. Unstable, not disabled. Exactly. Dang it. Ah. Gambling? I'm in. No, that, that's Spanish gambling. Gambling. Gambling? 
And I think we're beginning to do some rambling. It would be the first time I've done that. Oh, come on, I didn't... I did not. You know how to solve this one? Yeah, it's just time you're running correctly. Like that. It's in the title, Time Slip. No. just a jump to the right and then a step to the left. Is that what you're saying, step zero? The changing color of the platforms is really making it hard for me to concentrate on them. Put your hands on your hip, father. No, I will not have a good good time and dance the time warp here. Dial M for murder. Gunsmoke, 1966. Again, just like the most random television references. Somebody pull up Galaxy Quest for the timing. Uh, what? Thought I had the timing on that, on the very last platform, but apparently not. Oh yeah, you did do a poll. That's okay, now we can see what people's opinions are and see how right or wrong they are with the prediction. You know that I have opinions. No, really, Gail, you have opinions. Consider me shocked and or surprised. Most people seem to think that you will top out below 500 deaths. Oh, well. I can fix that. sure it keeps count. If not, we'll refund everyone.
Heaven's Gate, more like the Lathe of Heaven, am I right? supposed to do here. This is the final challenge, by the way. Get that prediction started. Ah! I screwed that up. Uh, we don't know what the death count is at. But I think it says in, like, the final screen. If I remember correctly. Ah, oh, dang it. Ah, need to press flip button there. This game has some pretty demanding platforming at times. Oh. Okay, I'm taking a moment. Got a trinket. V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V V Outer space. Game complete. Trinkets found four. Game timer one hour twenty minutes. Total flips two thousand two hundred twenty nine. Total deaths four hundred and ten. Well, now if people start predicting, uh, it's a little, it'll be a little awkward, but, uh, you know. You... Hardest room. Not as I do. That's the one where we had to lead the professor across the platforms. That's interesting. I thought it would have been um, the Gravitron or whatever. Wow, look at all those people putting in points for less than 500. Wow. Sure would be a lot harder if the if the total wasn't there on screen, but uh <laughs> You won the poll, but you backed out. Womp, womp. I uh, can't win them all. Less than 500 deaths. We got an achievement for that. I don't know why I don't have achievements. I've played this game before, but maybe they existed before. Is there like a Twitch practice client so you can get used to the com commands? I think you can just do that in any... Uh, you can just do that in the chat, even if I'm not online. No, I'm just giving you. A, I'm just giving you a hard time, Step Zero. It's all good. We're here to have fun. Hello, Cap C -c 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 Captain. You're all right. I knew you'd be okay. We were very worried when you didn't come back, but when you turned off the source of interference. We're able to find you with the ship's scanners and teleport you back on board. Use the picture-based UI in the browser. Yeah. Oh, that was lucky. Thanks, guys. It looks like this dimension is just starting... is starting to be destabilized. Starting to destabilize. There we go. I can read. Just like our own. We can stay and explore, but only for a little while longer. 
There's no telling exactly how long, long we have here, but the ship's fixed, so as soon as we're ready, we can go home. What now, Captain? Well, let's find another way. Let's find a way to save this dimension. And a way to save our home dimension, too. The answer is out there somewhere. Let's go! Captain Viridian, Dr. Violet, Professor Vitter Vitaleri, Officer Vermilion, Chief Vertigris, Dr. Victoria. a lot of names. They must have done a Kickstarter. That was the style back in the day. Thanks for playing! Aww. Thank you. And they had a band this entire time. Truly multi-talented explorers and scientists. The more detailed they are, the less cute they are. I'm not gonna lie. They started up scaling without regards to aesthetics. Yeah. Congratulations, your save file has been updated. So now you can go back and you can find the trinkets and whatnot. And there's there's other game modes and things. It, it's a nice game. If you're looking for a fun uh, 2D platformer with a twist, I recommend it. It's fun to explore. Um, but we're going to call it there. A little early today, but that's okay. Um, So yeah, so thank you for tuning in to Let Us Play. I've been your host, Father Evan. Uh, I will not be streaming next week. I will be at uh, the Seek Focus Conference in St. Louis. So if you're attending Seek, uh, come find me. I'll be at the Vocations booth area. Um, uh, so, but you know, obviously, hotel Wi-Fi can't do uh, uh, any streaming. Brain, come on. I'm still in that post Christmas. Uh, just like lull can't focus. Um, but when we come back the week after Monday, we'll be, uh, seek S E E K seek like to seek to find something. Um, anyway, the week after, uh, which will be, what is that? The seventh? Yeah. January 7th. I'll be back uh, with more Kingdom Hearts Read Chain of Memories. Uh, Tuesday, uh, for Retro Tuesday in January, we're playing the original Roller Coaster Tycoon. So that should be fun. Look forward to that. And then for Spirituality Thursday, going to be starting a game that week called Spiritfarer. I'm very excited about to play that game. I've heard great things. I think it has a really fascinating concept. Uh, so, yeah, really looking forward to getting to dive into that. I know almost nothing about it uh, except for its concept. Uh, and yeah, looking forward to diving into that with y'all. Um, but yeah, so thank you to everyone who's joined, everyone who's followed, uh, subscribed, uh, you know, everyone who's subscribed over at YouTube, shout out to you, YouTube. Um, and I think that's everything. So I will see y'all in about 10 days. Uh, but I hope you have a great weekend and a great time. So take care and God bless. Oh, wait, we're actually going to go on a raid. I forgot. We can still do a raid.
Going to send you all over to King Yenzala. Three, two, one, raid. It's always something that I've always felt a little guilty about. Like, I really need to learn what that is and how to use it. Um, but then I was...